thanks unto the Lord, for he is good, his mercies endureth forever. Hallelujah. This is a good day to be in the presence of the Lord. He woke you up this morning, clothed us in our right mind, gave us the portion of our health and strength, and we're just thankful. Hallelujah. Just thankful to be here and to give him praise. Scripture says, let everything that has breath praise you the Lord. So we're here to praise the Lord this morning and to listen from heaven for the word of God to come forth. Hallelujah. At this time, we're going to ask uh, uh, Deacon Washington to come and lead us in prayer. Let's receive him with a hearty amen. Amen. Amen again. Amen. Stand. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for bringing us here today, Lord Jesus Christ. We thank you for being God all by yourself. We thank you for your presence on the throne, Lord Jesus Christ. We know no matter what our trials and tribulations, that you are still sitting on the stone, on the throne. We know that you hear our cries, Lord Jesus Christ. We know that you hear us when we talk to you, Lord Jesus Christ. We ask you to come by here right now, Lord Jesus Christ, and let your Holy Spirit touch our hearts. Show us who you are, Lord Jesus Christ. We ask you to hear our praise, hear our cry, hear our love. Lord, we thank you for all that you do for us. We thank you for your word. We thank you for knowledge, wisdom, and understanding. We thank you for the strength that you give us when we're going through our trials and tribulations. Lord, we thank you for all that you do. We thank you for the water that we drink, the food that we eat, all the things that we sometimes take for granted until we don't have it. We thank you for our loved ones that you put in our lives, Lord Jesus Christ, that we may appreciate them while they are still in our lives. We thank you, Lord Jesus Christ, for being a healer to our heavy hearts. We thank you for your goodness, your mercy, your grace that endures forever. We thank you for being a good listener when everybody else goes to sleep on us, Lord Jesus Christ. We thank you for all that you do, Lord Jesus Christ. We thank you for loving us more than we love ourselves. We thank you for loving us when we were yet sinners in the world, protecting us and bringing us through the storms, Lord Jesus Christ. We thank you for all that you do, Lord Jesus Christ. You are an awesome, awesome God, Lord Jesus Christ. We thank you for the birds, the weather, the protect us from the rain and the storms, Lord Jesus Christ. There are so many things that you do each and every day of our lives, Lord Jesus Christ. We thank you for it. We thank you for making our enemies leave us alone, Lord Jesus Christ. We thank you for that spirit that comes down and comforts us, Lord Jesus Christ. We bring pulling down and depressed. We thank you for the flowers, Lord Jesus Christ. We thank you for the rain, Lord Jesus Christ. There are so many things that you do just because you love us. You love us so much more than we love ourselves. And we thank you for it. Our job today, Lord Jesus Christ, is to praise you. Is to bring forth your praise, Lord Jesus Christ. You're worthy of your praise. You're worthy of your praise. You're worthy of your praise. Thank you, Jesus. We thank you, praise you, and glorify you. Have mercy upon those that are sick in their beds, Lord Jesus Christ. Heal heal their hearts, Lord Jesus Christ. Have mercy upon those who can't be here today, Lord Jesus Christ. Have mercy upon those loved ones who have left us, Lord Jesus Christ, that we miss right now. Lord, we thank you for all that you do, Lord Jesus Christ. We ask you to be in the midst of our everything, Lord Jesus Christ. We thank you. We praise you. We glorify you. We magnify you. We exalt your most holy name on high. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray. Amen and amen. Amen. Please remain standing and open your Bibles to the book of Psalms. Our morning scripture will come from Psalms 91. Psalms 91. Thank you. 
place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, He is, he is my, my refuge and my fortress, my, my God, and He is my trust. Surely He shall deliver thee from the snare of the fowler and from the noisome pestilence. He, he shall, shall cover, cover thee with, with His feathers, and under, under His wings shalt shall thou trust. trust. His truth shall be thy shield and buckler. Thou shalt not be afraid for the terror by night, nor the arrow that flies by day. Nor the pestilence that walketh in darkness, but not the destruction that wasteth in the day. A thousand shall fall by thy side, and ten thousand at thy right hand. But it shall not come nigh thee. Only by thy eyes shall thou behold, and the reward of the Lord of the wind. Because thou hast made the Lord, which is my refuge, even the Most High, thy habitation. There shall no evil befall thee, neither shall, shall any plague come nigh thy dwelling. For he shall give his angels charge over thee, mm. to keep thee in all thy ways. They shall, shall bear thee up in their hands, lest thou cast thy foot against the stone. Thou shalt tread upon the lion and the adder, the young lion and the dragon, shalt thou trample under feet. Because he has set his love upon me, therefore will I deliver him. I will set him on high, because he has known my name. He shall call upon me, and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver him and honor him. Altogether, with long life will I satisfy him and show him my salvation. Hallelujah. May the Lord have a blessing to the reading. Hearing of his word. Amen. Amen. This time we're going to call to come and give us a solo. Let's receive him with a hearty amen. Amen. Amen again. Amen. Thank you, Jesus.
and it reads, the spirit of the Lord is upon me because he has anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor. He has given me to heal the broken heart, to preach deliverance to the captives, and recovering of sight to the blind, yes. to set at liberty them that are bruised. Okay. Amen. Amen. You may be seated right. in the presence of the Lord. And we know that the Lord came to literally <coughs> heal physical, uh, the physical body. And we also know that he gave sight to the blind. And he says to set at liberty them that are bruised, to preach the gospel to the poor. And in that particular time, uh, they felt like if you were really blessed by the Lord, uh, you was not poor, or you wouldn't be poor. Uh, but what I want to talk to you this morning about is the healing of the emotions. Uh, the emotion is the inner part of our being. It goes down to our the spirit. As a matter of fact, if you are physically afflicted, if you are healed emotionally, you still can enjoy the salvation of the Lord. In other words, you can be joy, joyful down in your spirit. Mm -hmm. uh, but what happens many times is uh, individuals that are hurting don't want anybody to know that they are hurting. Mm -hmm. And another thing is we find out that people that hurt tends to hurt other people. And so it is uh, important that we are healed on the inside. And so Jesus says he's come to mend the brokenhearted. It is the ones that are completely broken. It reminded me of 2 Chronicles in the 34th chapter, starting at the 21st verse. And God is addressing Judah. And he says, because they have forsaken me and has burnt incense unto other gods, that they might provoke me to anger with all the works of their hand, therefore my wrath shall be poured out unto this place and shall not be quenched. Actually, he's talking about uh, Israel. But to the king of Judah, he says, and as for the king of Judah, who sent you to inquire of the Lord, so shall you say unto him, Thus saith the Lord God of Israel, concerning the works which thou hast heard. Because thine heart was tender, and thou did hummest thyself before God. When thou hearest his words against this place, and against the inhabitants thereof, and humblest thyself before me, and did rain thy clothes, and weep before me, I have even heard thee also, said the Lord. Behold, I will gather thee to thy father and to thy, and thou shalt be gathered to thy grave in peace. Neither shall thine eyes see all the evil that I will bring upon this place and upon the inhabitants of the same. So they brought the king word again. And so we find that when we come to God in the right manner, mm -hmm. God hears us. Yes, yes. And notice they came not in a proud heart, but in a humble heart. Uh, it reminds us of Jonah. Jonah became angry because of God's mercy. And the reason being that he didn't like men. Uh, Nineveh was a cruel nation, and they were an enemy to the nation of Israel. But the Bible writes us these things so we can learn from them. Amen. And so we find some things out 
concerning John. One is you can't hide from God. And when, when he called Jonah to preach, Jonah thought if he'd buy a ticket and go the other way, he wouldn't have to do what God told him to do. And so he finds out you can't hide from God. And so you might can hide from some people, but God knows all about you. The Bible says even the number of your head, he knows. And we also learn that God can use the least candidates. Yeah. Yeah. You don't have to be somebody All right. yeah. for God to use you. Show right. It shows us that God will do the impossible. Amen. What is not possible for us is completely possible for God. Amen. 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 It shows us that you can't wrap God in a national flag. All right. Hallelujah. You see that today. They want to wrap God up in an American flag and present it. But I don't care what country you're in. God loves you. Yeah. Hallelujah. And I'm, don't get me wrong. I'm proud to be in the United States. Amen. Where you can freely worship and lift up the name of the Lord. Amen. Every country can't do that. There are some countries you still have to hide. Amen. There are some countries you can't even trust your own folk. Amen. If you glorify Jesus Christ. <laughs> and so another thing, it, it's not about your uh, nationality. It, it's not about your reputation. Mm -hmm. You see that woman at the well. Hallelujah. When, when Jesus was witnessing to the woman at the well. And we see that in, in Rahab because she believed God and took God at his word. God can use anything he want to use Amen. to bring you closer to himself. Yeah. He can use animals. Yeah. He can use weather. Anything created, God can use to bring you close. Amen. Hallelujah. And, and so it's not just the, the physical, physical infirmities that we have to be concerned about. But Jesus came to heal the broken heart. Yes. Right, right. Hallelujah. So that you can still have joy Hallelujah. no matter what you're going through. Amen. Uh, because it's the uh, eternal part. A lot of times the anguish that people have that they hide. And, and one reason they hide is because people tend at times to be judgmental. Uh, and, and instead of, of comforting them and giving them a word of comfort, for some reason we'd rather be judges. But Jesus is talking about he's coming seeking to save that which is lost. Yes. Hallelujah. He's, he's going to set at, uh, uh, at liberty those that are captives. And see, your mind has a lot to do with your well-being. Amen. The Bible said, as a man think, so he is. So he is. And you have to always ask yourself, what hell I been thinking? All right. All right. Have you been thinking about the things that are God? Right. Hallelujah. Or are you thinking about what they said on the news? Right. Or what they said in that movie? Well. See, the thing that we look at and the thing we bring into our spirit, mm -hmm. it opens up. Uh, 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 another avenue for you. Now, have you ever seen a movie or something and, then, and those images keep flashing up in your head? Yes. And those images give you uh, another choice as to what you should do. Right. And so if you don't ever get them up there, you don't have to worry about trying to fight. That's right. Hallelujah. That's Thank right. you, Jesus. And, and so uh, Jesus knows right where we are right now. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hebrews 2, 14, 15 says, For as much then as the children are partake of the flesh and blood, he also himself likewise took part of the same, that through death he might destroy him that has the power of death. Amen. That is the devil. Uh -huh. 
and delivered them who through fear of death was all their lifetime suffer through bondage. And the Bible already let you know what the enemy came to do. To, to steal, kill, and to destroy. Right. Uh, you won't want him to live next door to you. I do. The ring wouldn't do you any good with him. Because that is, is his nature. Amen. You definitely don't want him in your house. Still, kill, destroy. Mm -hmm. That sums him up. Yep. Hallelujah. That's what he came to do. But Jesus came, he says, to destroy the works of the devil. Amen. Hallelujah. It's, it's that blood stain bound. Yes, we want to rally behind. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Hallelujah. Oh. Nothing but the blood. Yeah. Hallelujah. Nothing but the blood of Jesus. Yes. He completed it on Calvary. Yes, sir. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. I know many times people say, well, you can, you can repent and refuse. That is true. You can repent as fast as it takes you to die. Mm -hmm. But look, God didn't take you, did he? Okay. When you got saved, God didn't take you right up to heaven. Mm -hmm. And so there is a process. There's a road to be trapped. Yes. Hallelujah. And people, God is dependent on you because people are dependent on you. Mm -hmm. You may be the one in the family that shows them what Christ is like. Okay. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. And so he came and took part in flesh. So he is able to help us. Yes. Right. Hallelujah. You. Jesus is able to help us in time of need, in time of trouble. Because Psalms 34, 18 says, The Lord is nigh unto them that are of a broken heart. Now, what did that mean? God is always near. God is in you. He's always near. So what did that word mean? So it means that the Lord is willing to help. That's what it means. Those that are broken heart and save such as of a contract spirit. God is willing to help. Hallelujah. In the time of our needs. And then Hebrews 4.15 says. For we do not have a high priest. Who is unable to sympathize with our weakness. Amen. But we have one that has been tempted in every way. Just as we are yet without sin. Amen. He knows what you're going through. Yes. He knows how it is to get tired. Mm -hmm. He knows how it is to home. Amen. We have a. Forgot the fact that he was also human. Yes. But he was anointed divine. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. But without sin. And see, your mind can play tricks on you. What the Pharisees tell him? Look, we, we're not slaves to anybody. We Abrahams. And see, that shows you that mind was messed up. Hallelujah. Because Jesus says, whatever you give your body to, that is who is your servant. Amen. Hallelujah. If you say you're serving God, you can't be serving sin too. Amen. You have to be free from sin in order to serve God. Don't Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And, and realize that even if your heart is not in it, the Bible gives us a remedy. Oh, that's just the way I am. Well, why are you that way? Have you heard people say that? Oh, I'm just like that. My mama was like that. Look, that's no excuse. Amen. That's no excuse. Jesus says where your treasure is. So, so you just have to change priority. Wherever you put your treasure, that's where your heart going to be. Hallelujah. If a person loves money, that's where his treasure is. And if you love money more than you love God, you know you got to refocus. You know you have to put your mind on Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to God. And God is able to deliver us and to change us. Hallelujah. He knows your hurts. He knows your fears. He knows your anxiety. He knows all your hang-ups, your frustration. He knows all about you. Amen. All the stuff that we try to hide and keep hid. 
He know all about your problem. Hallelujah. Oh, what a friend we have in Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to God. That's some stuff you won't even tell your friend, would you? Hallelujah. But we have a friend in Jesus. And when you have a friend in Jesus, there's some stuff he won't keep from you. Hallelujah. He said, I'm not going to treat you like a servant now. I'm going to treat you like a friend. You know what a friend do? A friend will speak to you. Yeah. Hallelujah. Jesus will speak to you. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Glory to God. Thank you, Lord. Now, some people stop speaking. Your spouse might stop speaking to you. Amen. Give you the silent treat. <laughs> Hallelujah. Yeah. But he's our comforter. Yeah. Glory. He's our confidant. Yeah. Hallelujah. What you tell him. Hallelujah. You don't have to worry about it. Amen. Glory Amen. to God. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Because the devil's most powerful tool is deception. Yes. He wants to tell you, don't nobody care about you. That's right. But they didn't even call Amen. you. Amen. Hallelujah. But when your mind is here, you're going to call somebody else. Yeah. Hallelujah. 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 You know, you got to say, uh, say 30 or 40 years. And they still complain about somebody who called them. Yeah. Well, you need to be calling somebody else by now. Yeah. Look, you ought to be encouraging somebody else by that's now. True. I can see if you're young in the Lord. And that's another thing. God give us a room to grow. You can grow in the Lord. You can get all milk and start eating some meat. Yeah. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. Glory to God. You won't just keep, keep drinking milk. Don't a steak sound good? Some steak potato. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Grow in the Lord. That way you don't be pulled about by every wind of doctrine that comes along. Amen. Most times when people are pulled around by the wrong doctrine is because they have not grown. See, God gives you room to grow. Yes. For a four-year-old, you not expect for him to, to, to uh, be an adult. You know, kids has got a certain amount of foolishness. They, they got a certain amount. Don't make them try to be grown because they're not. But if they still act four at 20, you know you need to take them somewhere. You know something has gone wrong. And that, that's what Paul was talking about. Paul said, you know, it's something wrong. When you still on milk, you should be eating meat. And so the devil held that lie going. That don't, don't nobody care about me. Oh, poor man. Oh, poor man. As if there's no help. There's help in the Lord. There's always help in the Lord. Hallelujah. Because one of the things that cause anguish in, in, in our mental state is fear. We are afraid of failure. Hallelujah. What about the, the, the um, individual that God gave the talents to? He was so afraid. What did he do? He went and buried him. He went, Paul, he was thinking about himself. Oh, man, when he get back, and I done lost, lost his money. He, he's a hard man. I know how. And so I'm going to just bury it in the ground. You don't get anything out of life. Look at uh, the, the CEO for uh, Amazon. He said something very interesting. He got plenty of money. He's going to go up in space. And they didn't say, of course. He said, no, it's not safe. But neither getting out of the bed. <laughs> so... It, it, and so, I don't care how wealthy you are, how wealthy you are, life is not worth living if you're not going to, see, because if, if you're afraid that you're going to save your life, what Jesus said, you're going to lose it. If you're so afraid or is scared to live your life, hallelujah, I'll never forget my sister had a very, uh, Big impact on my dad. But my dad, hey, don't go out late at night. This can happen to you. That can happen to you. 
He's all saying, you know, especially girls. Mm -hmm. I don't remember doing the boys, but girl, all this can happen, that can happen. She said, you know what, I might as well be dead. <laughs> so if I'm gonna worry about, now there's nothing wrong with being cautious. Right. Right. But when you're so overly cautious, so afraid, that's why a lot of people don't come to God. They act like God is gonna take something from them. <laughs> God don't want that for you guys, but you. And when you give him you, he'll make the best you you ever seen. Because he is your maker. He is your creator. He knows just what you need. Hallelujah. And you don't have to be perfect for him to use you. He can use you just as you are. Hallelujah. He said his eyes go to and fro in the earth looking at whom he may bless. He's looking for somebody to bless. He's looking for somebody to say, it's not his will that any should perish, but all come to repentance. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. God has not given us a spirit of fear, but of power and of love and what kind of mind? Sound. A sound mind. Hallelujah. 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 Not a messed up mind. Well, sound mind. Thank you. you got a sound mind when you follow in Christ. Hallelujah. If you love the Lord, your mind is sound. Hallelujah. 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 Don't matter if you make some missteps. That's all right. You still got an habit. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He don't throw you out of the family yeah. because you messed up. You are when you keep messed up. You ain't willing to get back up. Yeah. The righteous, if they fall seven times, yeah, he'll get back up. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh yeah, people gonna, gonna talk about how you fail. Yeah, yeah. Oh look at it. Thank you. But I'm getting back up. Yeah. Hallelujah. I'm getting back up. Yeah. In the Bible, says, you're gonna see what's gonna happen to the wicked. Did you know that? You're going to see what's going to happen to the naysayers. Amen. Because at that name of Jesus, yeah. every knee shall bow and every tongue is going to confess. Yeah. He is Lord to the glory of God. Yeah. Thank you, Jesus. So I'm going to get that word. Well done, my good and faithful servant. Thank you. Now enter in. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. Enter in you, to my rest. Yeah. Hallelujah. And Jesus, he didn't bruise the reed. He didn't break. And the smoking flax shall he not quench. He shall bring forth judgment unto truth. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. He's going to heal that which is broken. Yeah. He's not going to kick it. Yeah. He's not going to make it worse. Yeah. He healed. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. He ignite rather than quench. Well, look, you know, I just got a little bit. That's all right. You ought to bring it to Jesus and see what he can do with it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We ought to stop talking about people. Oh, they ain't living nothing. They ain't got nothing. Yeah, they got something. They just need to take it to Jesus. Because if you got a little stove, uh, 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 in a, in, in a, uh, uh, a stove, a wood stove, uh -huh. all you need, stir it up, yeah. blow it a little bit. Yeah. Some of y'all know what I'm talking about. Hallelujah. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Oh, he ain't on fire. No, he can get on fire. Yeah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Thank you Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Oh, I'm excited about the Lord. Yes. Because the Lord can do some extraordinary things in your life. God can change your attitude. Yes. Hallelujah. Glory to God. He can put joy down inside of your soul. Hallelujah. And no matter what you're going through, he says all things working together for good. To them that love the Lord. Oh, you got all the ingredients. 
It's the same with faith. Amen. Now faith is the substance. You, don't look. When you get ready to cook a cake, you got the butter, you got your egg, you got your flour, you got your vanilla. Now, it don't look like a cake yet. But I got the stuff. <laughs> Hallelujah. I know when I mix it together. And put it in the oven. Out comes this cake. Hallelujah. Glory to God. It's the evidence. Stuff. This is how you get stuff from heaven. Amen. Amen. It's your faith. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. Yes. It's going to come to pass. Amen. Oh, we done been in the store and looking at better crop. <laughs> but you know that ain't what you get out of that bottle. Yes. You know you got to do a little bit yourself. Yes. You're going to put it in there. And out it come, and you get all excited just to decorate and put on the chocolate. And hallelujah. Glory to God. You just be, mm, mm, that's going to be good. That's how we do the word of God. You know it's going to be good. It's going to be good. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Mmm, good. He's the best. Yes. 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 Jesus is the best thing that ever happened to me. Yes. 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 Oh, it's the best thing yes. that ever happened. Mm. Hallelujah. Mm. Hallelujah. Right. Glory to God. And you, so you can get that from here. <laughs> Hallelujah. You can get that from here. Yeah. All you have to do. The Bible says he will in no wise cast you out. Nobody. If you come to him. Hallelujah. Without that proud spirit. Right, right. See, that's the biggest, that's one of people's biggest problems is that spirit. They have that proudful spirit. Amen. Hallelujah. I can take care of this myself. Look, you can't take care of this stuff yourself. Right. Why do you think so many people got high blood pressure and heart disease? Yeah. And, and they worry themselves half to death. Amen. Because they're going to bed worried, waking up worried. When all you have to do is take it to Jesus. Hallelujah. And said, Lord, you told me to. So yes. here it is. Yes. Because his shoulder is so much broader than my shoulder. Yes. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Glory to God. You don't have to live with guilt and let people guilt you and stuff. Hallelujah. For Isaiah 1 18 says, Come now and let us reason together, says the Lord. Mm -hmm. Listen. He said, let's reason together. Though your sin be as scarlet. Now, he's talking to sinners. He's talking to sinners. Hallelujah. And he said, let's reason together. Let's talk about this thing. Hallelujah. They shall be as white as snow. Though they be red like crimson, they shall be as wool. Only God can do that. You can't do that reading the Ten Commandments, and I'm going to see how I can do this. Uh -uh. You need a relationship with Jesus Christ. And he said, I will do that for you. I will cast your sin behind you. Glory to God. I will give you a new life. Yeah. I'll give you a new way of thinking. Yeah. I'll give you a new way of looking at individuals. Yeah. Glory. Glory to God. Glory. Glory. You'll be praying for your enemies. Yeah. Well. You'll be praying for your enemies. Yeah. And know that God is able. Yeah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Oh, Jonah jo jo went to sit down. Hallelujah. I told you. Y'all read it, baby. I told you that's what you was going to do. I knew that what you was going to do. Going to have mercy on these people. And he said, he waiting for them to see what God going to do. You know what God did? He caused, he caused the Lord to grow up. 
yeah. and shade. Yeah. Did God send some wind? Yeah. See, God can, oh, God know how to put that stuff together. Uh -huh. Thank you, Lord. And he was getting all hot, and when that boy shaded him, oh, he, oh, yeah. 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 I can imagine how he felt. Yeah. <laughs> he felt so good. Yeah. And then God sent a worm. And that worm cut that gore and that gore willed. Yeah. Oh, he got mad. <laughs> the Lord said, what did you have to do with it? You didn't plant nothing. You ain't watered nothing. See, see how people do. See how we do sometimes. That's why God wants us to consider our way. Take a look at how we look at and do things. Now, he didn't have anything to do with it, but now he's mad. He was at some point, he was so mad, said, just let me die. He was so angry. Because God cares about people. This was a heathen nation. Remember, this was a heathen nation. Hallelujah. And God knew if you preach the word, Things are going to change. Don't you know the word of God changes things? Yes. Yeah. Yes. God chose the foolishness of preaching to save something. Amen. Hallelujah. Because some people say, oh, what's that? That, is, uh -huh. that will change your life. The word, I mean, I'm not talking about philosophy. I'm talking about the word of God will change your life. It will change your destiny. It would put God in his rightful place that you would worship him and adore him. Because he's worthy to be praised. Yes. He's worthy to be worshipped yes. and adored. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He is the maker. He's our maker. He's our creator. Yes. Hallelujah. Glory hey. to God. Thank you. And see, when you got something that's made, you need a man. And this is our man. This is right here is our man. Hallelujah. Because I guarantee you, you get a car and you don't change the oil, you don't take it in from man, it's going to break down. Hallelujah. And so God gave us the word. This is not a regular book. This is the word of God. Hallelujah. And he gave us the spirit, the Holy Ghost. Because he said, and when it comes, it will teach you. And lead you where? To all truth. And so if I got to be led and I got to be taught, that means I don't have it. It will bring you out of error into truth. And his word is true. Jesus was true. Hallelujah. That's why he could tell the adversary. Hallelujah. He could twist them scriptures all the way. He wanted to, but you know what Jesus did? Put them in the rightful place. And used it to whip the devil with. And whip him good. Whip him good. And he thought, I know the devil was thinking, boy, if I can get rid of him. Mm. And he really messed up. <laughs> he really messed up. Yes. Hallelujah. Because a lot of time in your life, God has you just where he wants you. You twisting and turning, trying to get out. And God says, I got you just where I want you. Amen. Israel, when their back was to the Red Sea, they was right where God wanted. But they was too busy looking at the enemy. And we trapped in. Oh, Lord, what are we going to do? Had Moses praying, God, what you praying about? Go forward. Because God has already made a way. Yes. It is the same in your life. God has already made a way for you. Amen. Through the storm. Yes. Hallelujah. Because storm is going to come in your life. Amen. But keep your eyes on Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Take your word. He had told them we're going to the other side. They should have sold. Amen. But because when the storm came, they became afraid and started waking them up. Don't you care about us? And so Jesus spoke to the storm and come to 
sick. All it took was a word from the Lord. All it takes to calm your spirit is a word from the Lord. How many times? Hallelujah. If you got frustrated and you got confused and you prayed to the Lord and the Lord spoke to your spirit, that's all you need. That was all you need. Thank you, Jesus. Is word from the Lord. Yes. Yes. Hallelujah. Thank you. And, and you can speak to yourself. Amen. You know when your mind is wandering to the wrong thing. You know when your 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 your, your soul is not filling the jar, and you can speak to your spirit and say, "No, what's wrong with you?" <laughs> Hallelujah. You had to go on crazy. Amen. You find your senses. Why are you so downcast? Put your trust in God. Didn't he do it? Hallelujah. He did it last year. Year before that. And he will do it again. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Thank you. Rejoice. The Bible says rejoice in the Lord. Again I say. Do what? Rejoice. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Draw out the well of salvation. Realize you are a child of the king. Yes. He is Lord of Lords and the King of Kings. Yes, sir. And you can whip the enemy. You don't have to be in the mountain to whip the enemy. Yeah. Hallelujah. Oh, you can go down in the valley. Yes, oh, we got you now. No, they don't. Yes, sir. Oh, God will give you victory in the valley. Yes. 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 You are blessed coming in, blessed going out. Hallelujah. Blessed in the field, blessed yes. in the city. Yes. Yes. Thank you. Blessed. Oh, I gotta have Johnny or Pop. No, you don't. You don't have to have Johnny Sue, nobody. Well, Hallelujah. You can get them after you get straight. Amen. That's the best way to do it. Mm. You know, even the world know that. Mm. Did you know if you on drugs and stuff and you want to marry somebody, they say, get yourself straight first. Right. <laughs> it might be the alcohol talking, it might be <laughs> drugs talking. Yeah. Give your heart to God. And let God direct you and guide you. Amen. Yes. He won't steer you wrong. You. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Yes. We're living proof. It's all right you got some scars. That means you heal, right? right, right. I got some scars on my arm I, I, when I was in a bicep. Now, if you looked at it and you saw open wound, you said, oh, he's still. But no, I got some scars. Paul had scars. Man. Them bell scars. Hallelujah. That, that, that's your credentials. That means you've been through something. Amen. Glory to God. So don't try to save your life. Because if you try to save your life, you're going to lose it. But you have to have a made up mind. I'm going to serve the Lord. Amen. Through it all, I'm going to serve the Lord. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Well, God bless you. Continue to be with you. If you are here today and you haven't been baptized, haven't received the gift of the Holy Ghost, the Bible says today is today. Today is the day of salvation. Because you don't know you're going to be here next week. Or tomorrow before that. Right. 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 Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Paul says of faith, he says, show me your works. Your, my, your faith without works, and I'll show you my faith by my works. And so faith is not an idle word. Hallelujah. The Bible lets you know by faith all the mighty things um, that Abraham and Moses and all of them did was because of the confidence and faith that they had in God. Hallelujah. We'll continue to pray for one another. Amen. And stay safe. Amen. Continue to pray for one another. In Jesus' name.